So hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to implement inheritance by using Java. So let's get started. So currently I'm in Visual Studio Code. I'm having a blank class and a main function. So pretty much standard thing. So first in inheritance, we need to understand that there are two classes. Okay. Uh, the one thing is the super class. Super class is the main class I would say. And another thing is a subclass. So subclass is a class which inherits the properties of this super class or the main class. So let me code code it now and explain to you. So first just go and class this one is going to be the main class okay main class here refers to the super class uh, okay so now let me type let a or let a main okay a main be the main of the super class and another thing it uh it can have a variable say x okay so let x be the variable okay and uh, next thing is going to be the subclass so subclass is the one which is going to inherit the all the properties or data members or methods of the super class a main so here we have only one data member that is x so x can be accessed by using the objects of this subclass so so for inherit the in java we use the keyword extends so let me type and show you so it should be class here is going to be the subclass name so let me be b sub and extends okay extends a main okay so by using this we are inheriting all the properties of this main class over here okay so now let me show you how we can access the x value so let me just go and type into y okay and let me put a display function void display and here i'm just printing So I'm just going to print x value and y value. So you may ask me, x is present in the main another class and y value, y is present in another class. How how we can access x value? So that's the power of inheritance. Okay, that's what inheritance meant. Using inheritance, you can give multiple additional functionality to your class by accessing the neighbor class. Okay, so in Java we have multi-level inheritance, but so we don't have multiple inheritance. That is yeah subclass can't have two super class or it can't extend on two classes so in java that's not possible by using this extends keyword actually and it can be done by using the interface yeah, that's a separate concept so let's not go deep into that so now let's just execute this code okay so now uh we have done everything we are going to just display the value so x is present in another class y is present in another class so i'm just going to create an object okay so we're creating an object uh class name is b sub okay so it's going to be b sub uh, let b be the object b new b sub or b's capital and let's close it and next just you are going to next we are just going to assign the values okay so b dot x is we can assign it as 10 and we will assign next b dot y as 20 and let's just call the function b dot Display. So I'm just assigning values here and I'm calling the function display by using this. This is an object creation, you must be aware of it. So now, if you call the object, uh, call this function, you will get the output as 20 and 10 and 20. So, x I'm going to put it 10 and 20. So, now let's just run the code. So, let's run the code. So, as you can clearly see here i'm getting the output as 10 and 20 so i'm actually not using an object of the class a main i'm using the object of the b sub okay b sub object and accessing a data member of the super class a main so this is the basic concept of inheritance so if you go deep into inheritance, there are something like access specifiers that's a private public and protected so this can have some special abstract hiding purposes so this one is actually fully default if you didn't specify any access specifier it considered as default okay so another one thing i need to explain this so here now if you try to now if you try to give create a okay so now let me create an object of the class a main okay a main let it be a i'm going to see a a equal to new a main and if i assign value to a okay so i'm going just doing the same thing okay so just a small change over here so a dot x i'm just giving a dot x i'm just doing it separately 
and as a whole thing i am just going to display so what you what you need to guess the output so okay you will be surprised to know that output will be 0 and 20 yeah as you can see 0 and 20 so from this you can understand that the object created by a super class is different from an object created by a subclass so both will have different values so that's the main thing you have to understand from here if i change this and run it again you will get the word output 10 and 20 okay so this is an important thing okay so just come it so this is good so okay if you know this that's a basic thing of an so that's it for this video. I will also try to do more, more other programming stuff in Java in the coming days. So mind the programming channel. If you're interested in other stuff, also gaming, Blender, check out my videos and thanks for watching.